When I was little, I thought that Christmas was all about the presents, especially the ones from Santa. Now that I'm older, it seems that Christmas is actually about the food. Especially, my children would tell you, about the pigs in blankets. Christmas dinner is a big deal in our house. We usually have all my in-laws, plus various added extras, like my sister-in-law's visiting friend or my daughter's lone Australian colleague. It's quite a lot of work. It starts with pouring over recipes, followed by creating shopping lists, doing the shopping, storing all the food, at least one full day of preparation in the kitchen, calculating timings, and finally cooking. If this makes Christmas dinner at my house sound rather good, it is, but perhaps not for the reasons you would assume. I'm not a great cook. The china is mismatched and some of it is chipped. Half of the guests are perched rather precariously on camping stools. But there is a warm welcome and laughter and the joy of togetherness, and it is a feast. It is a celebration of my Saviour's birth, and throughout the ages and across cultures, celebrations are frequently accompanied by a feast. Last Christmas was a little different. My mother-in-law, who is quite vulnerable, was too anxious about COVID to join us. My youngest daughter suddenly found herself under tier four restrictions and was unable to travel home. And I got pinged on Christmas morning and told to self-isolate. After all the plans and preparation, it was a disappointment. This year, we hope it will be different, but that is by no means certain. And yet, even when my plans go awry, the blessing of Christmas remains. The baby Jesus, born in humble circumstances to unassuming parents, is still the saviour of the world. The hope of peace on earth is still God's promise to us. The reality of Emmanuel, God is with us, is still the truth. When the promised Messiah arrived, not with military might to overthrow the oppressor, but in a manger, in a stable, there were those who thought God's plans had gone awry. There were those who were disappointed. They imagined a Messiah who would save one nation, Israel. But God's idea was so much bigger than that. God planned to rescue all nations by giving his son as a sacrifice. Christmas is, as the angels told us, good news for all men. It is a time of hope, a time of joy, and a reason for celebration. I wish you all a Merry Christmas whether you can celebrate in the way you would like or not. The birth of Jesus is still good news. The blessing remains. So while Christmas may not be all about the food, it is all about the feast. <laughs>